looking at what this lack of playing time uh, at Aston Villa does for Michael Bradley, uh, obviously in the EPL it's going to hurt him not getting club play time. But for the national team, does he still warrant enough, uh, enough respect to be playing for the U.S. national team and starting for them on a regular basis? You know, it, it's a controversial topic. You know, some people think he should, some people think he shouldn't. You know, and it's just the last couple of friendlies we saw him in. He was very negative, very tentative. And um, I, I think he should be coming off the bench. I really do. I mean, the only reason I say that is because if Holden wasn't out, he should be coming off the bench the way I saw him play. So, so what midfield you're looking at? Because honestly, Michael Bradley, one of those guys that he's a he's a plug and play for me. Dempsey, Landon Donovan. But uh, was he a plug and play the last two friendlies? Absolutely. He didn't. I, he, he didn't. He didn't look his best. Honestly, but not every player is going to look their best. And the U.S. national team as a whole didn't have a great set of friendlies, in my opinion. Michael Bradley is one of those guys. He's a box-to-box midfielder. And honestly, uh, I don't even think Donovan or Dempsey is a box-to-box midfielder like Michael Bradley can. You see this guy work ethic is just tireless. He grew up watching his dad coach Princeton, and he said that's what really developed the work ethic in him. He was working out with the college guys, and being and just seeing him on the field, he'll make a tackle, take the ball all the way down, distribute it perfectly. He has the long shot capability. We've seen it uh, when he was with Mauricio McGlottenbach, and I don't think you can take this guy to the lineup. I don't think you can. He's too much of a stalwart in this U.S. I think team. we're too deep at midfielder not to not take him off. I think we have Clint Dempsey, Landon Donovan, Jermaine Jones, Stuart Holden, Benny Fellhaber, Maurice Edu. If those are if those guys if those guys are getting playing time over in Europe, well, why should Bradley get the call up when they probably could perform better than he could? Because we need to put the best eleven out there that we can. For Marie, for me, I like Maurice Edu off the bench in the World Cup. I wish he would have started and started Ricardo Clark, but that's a whole other story. Regardless, I like Maurice Edu off the bench. Jermaine Jones. Hasn't really shown me a whole lot yet. He had a good assist uh, to set up the goal um, for Josie Altador, but I, I just think that Michael Bradley is, is is the definition of what I want a U.S. player to be like. Very technically sound, very. Uh, but do we need to get away from that technically sound player? Because I mean, he's not providing us any positives right now, as I see it. I mean, I like Michael Bradley. Do not get me wrong. I think he's a great player, but. If he's not getting playing time, that's always been Bob Bradley's thing. It's like if you're playing, you get you get the start. But I mean, is there some like inner inner working politics here? Maybe, maybe not. Well, as you know, folks, um, My- Michael Bradley, one of the most controversial uh, choices that Bob Bradley always makes in this team because of the fact that they're father and son. Uh, but it remains to be seen if Bob Bradley can pull the wrench and uh, take Michael Bradley out of the lineup. Uh, We'll see as the Gold Cup gets a little closer if Michael Bradley can get more playing time and make this whole point a mute issue.